Hi, have you used this digital media platform in the past 24 hours? Most likely, you have. After all, this digital media platform provides a lot of interesting audio and visual content to cater to the public interest. It is where viral content was born, where the trends come and go, where things become relevant and obsolete in modern society. Yet beneath the benefit, this digital media gave almost unrestricted access to violence, many forms of violence in many different contexts. Violence to animals, family violence, war footage, violent movies, violent music, and one of them are our topic today, which is dating violence. And this is where the word electronically start to cause some concern. As numerous journals have previously discovered how digital media is a significant factor in the development of violent behavior in people. And according to the Hootsuite 2023 report, there are 212 million internet users in Indonesia. In addition, our research of 100 respondents revealed that many of them are heavy users of digital media. Building from the knowledge and curiosity that we found from those journals and our research data, we determined that it will be intriguing to analyze the subject of modern digital media exposure and people's perception towards dating violence behavior using George Gerbner's cultivation theory which states that a person's perception of reality will be shaped to fit the reality that they saw in the media they are frequently exposed to. But wait, why do we choose to research media exposure and individual perception regarding the issue? Wouldn't it be better just to go straight to the point and try to find a clear way to prevent dating violence? Let's first look at the reported data on dating violence from Komnas Perempuan which showed that there are 3,528 recorded cases of dating violence out of the 8,172 total cases of violence in Indonesia. It is important to note that these are only the reported cases and there are undoubtedly many more. And one of the root causes of unreported cases are false perception, which leads many people, victims or perpetrators, to start accepting violent behavior in dating, normalizing the violence, and we need to stop that. And from the finding of our study, we propose that the best way to prevent dating violence from spreading further are by raising our modern, digitally active society consciousness and awareness of the problem by utilizing digital media platform itself to construct a reality via visual, audio, or textual content that rejects the normalization of dating violence. All right, is it done, guys? Done? done, done. It's a wrap. All right, let's go. Bye-bye.